Hello, I'm the Sakir Drat, and I've got some more Cataclysm. We're on build 1807, and I figured I'd boot it up just without doing anything with it, just in case some options change, because it's been quite a while. Um, I don't know if it's actual change, but apparently there's spacing now. That's interesting. Um, it looks like it might be separating the various things into... Let's see, what number did I like? Go with 14 for now. Uh, yeah, 14 should be... Eh, 10. Into what they actually are. So, like, the auto saves are right here. The safe mode is right here. Auto save true. Auto notes. Oh, cool. You can turn this to, uh, off. Huh. Don't want it. Yeah, we'll see what it's like without it. System language, sure. Various units. Okay, so yeah, this is interesting. Narrow. Um, am I playing with narrow or not? I don't know. Guess I'll leave it on narrow. Uh, hide mouse cursor. I like the hide on keyboard input. It's interesting. Asian SCT. Huh, that's new, I think. Um. Okay, it looks like it's got the size thing mixed up or hidden for some reason. That's interesting. So I can't really show you it. Like I normally would, but hey, at least you can still change it. So, 720p, here we come. There we go. And then use tiles true. Do we have retro ASCII? That sounds interesting. Yeah, it seems they've pulled a lot in. We'll see what retro ASCII looks like. got music volume. Does that mean there's actually music again? There we go. And don't want to mess with any of the others. And, um, I guess this is the default. Apparently 4 is default. Um, only one region still. Initial season. Um, do I want to include some NPCs? Um, I think I'll go without NPCs for right now. Yep. Then some of those changes required me to quit out, so there we go. Huh. Apparently it's a little too... There we go. <coughs> now, new game and custom character. No active mods. They've uh, moved some of the ones that were originally uh, just in by default to just in and others they just don't have as the default anymore. But let's take a look. Um, automated gas station. That sounds interesting. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Boats. That could be interesting. Dino mod. Disable mutagens. Remove religious item or religious text, but I like them. They're slightly broken for mood. We're testing Z levels and those who want to play with Z level buildings in their early state. What's that? Why yes. Let's take a look at that. Hopefully the game crashes or something, because that would be interesting. Obsolete. Yeah, here's one. It's obsolete because they were integrated. Uh, and then you have a bunch of I don't want this stuff options. Old guns, also obsolete. Okay, remote controlled items. Bombs, cars, cars with bombs. <laughs> bombs, cars, cars with bombs. You know, the usual. City size. Um, yeah, we'll keep the city size up. Actually, I think I'll leave most of these alone. Yeah, I'll just leave it default. Leatherville. That sounds nice.
Hmm. Let's go to the traits. Let's see if they... Yeah, they've got forgetful still. I honestly think that you shouldn't be able to, within a world, change how you rust your skills. And if you choose rust to be off, forgetful shouldn't be available. But that's just uh, my backseat game design and going on there. So neither here nor there. This jaw. I don't want to take any food ones. Be vaguely annoying. Sleepy no. Strong scent. Um, it's only a point. It's not really worth it. Trigger happy, truth teller. Not gonna go for ugly. Huh. And that's how many. I could uh, fit two more in. What would I fit two more in with? And we'll discard? Hmm, that's a possibility. Um. No, I don't like vision penalties. If I live enough, I have enough of that with real life. I don't need it in a game. Huh. Don't want vegetables. Zomniac. That's actually tempting. I'll head back if I don't find anything on this run through. Also, I haven't really seen anything new. So that, yeah, poor hearing. Yeah, I'll grab poor hearing. Uh, I wonder if there's anything new over here. Fast reader is a point. And uh, night vision is one point. And scout is one point. I don't really see anything new. Bus driven X is a lot more than one point. Uh, let's see, is there any interesting professions I would like at the moment? Um, I'm not really seeing anything. Oh, of course we did just get into the uh, more point costs. Oh, yeah, a few of these costs a bit. Woohoo. It's a little more than a bit. We'll go back to this area and. Uh, we'll put it into strength and does this. We're actually at a point where melee damage goes up, huh? I'm tempted to actually go and spend on something here, but basically I'm past using skills there. Um, yeah, we'll go with that, especially since I'll probably start with a melee weapon. Jeremy Peck. Sure. Yeah, I'm finished. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Um, graphics. See, retro days. 10, 20. Thutsar. Let's take a look at Thutsars. I haven't looked at this in a while. Oh, right, this one. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I like that the windows now start closed. It's definitely a helpful thing. Uh, maybe I should actually open the window so I can check out what it's like outside. Yeah. And then, so I should go back, or no, go back to the, oop, retro ASCII, yes. Uh, a lot of black space. It looks interesting, but it's not really what I'm looking for. Uh, let's go through the retro days, I guess. This is the small one. the more close-up one. Probably actually end up settling back on that. It is a relatively good graphics or, uh, yeah, graphics I guess. But yeah, tile set be the more proper kind. Well, that's nice. It's a 
it's a very close to ASCII and yet not ASCII, and I really like the aesthetics that it has. Oh, hey, there's a thing up there. So I'll probably end up settling with it. Oh, dang it. I didn't mean to double click there. But yeah, I'll, most of these are actual. No, no, no. No. I think something changed here. I'm not sure exactly how it changed. There's back to Retro ASCII, so we'll settle on the Retro Days. It has a good balance, I feel. Uh, military Bunker, those are the ones that don't have robots outside instantly shooting you, so that's nice. Uh, pizza Parlor, Bowling Alley. Pharmacy, coffee shop, fire station, pool. Kind of hard to read that. Large office tower. Anyway. We'll grab that pipe. And, uh, well, actually, I guess we could uh, check downstairs. I'll pick up that hammer, though if there's anything better, I'll have to, uh, ditch it. No, that's all there is, just a hammer. So I'll probably have to ditch it. Well, act ooh, it's a hammering quality, so I can use it to make my... Oop. Press the right key, makeshift crowbar. Hammer. Grab. Nine... Now grab the makeshift. Rename makeshift to F. Oh, we've got a plastic bottle of water. That's probably what's taking up some of the room. But we know that's there. Let's go over to the town and see about the uh, experimental zero levels. So, yeah, it's on every building or something. Which it could reasonably be, all things considered. You can't go up there. Come on, show me the zombies. Okay, there they are. I haven't ag- Oh, one of them aggroed me. Okay, the pack of them aggroed me. This could be annoying. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's very interesting. Dang it, and the bite wound feels deep. Not sure if I'll stick with that. It's a little disruptive. Bit my left hand. Yeah, I didn't think I should go for a second attack there. I'm not sure if it should be quite so directly on the screen. It might not be so bad if it was just to the side of the screen or something. Oh, I didn't mean to step on that bush. And here's a proper bush. One, two. I definitely like that it shows me how much I've uh, done to it. Hmm. Oh, no, bad. Bad zombies. Don't do that. Uh huh. And my skill in bashing weapons went up. That's good. Might as well stack them all in this spot. There we go. What did they drop for me? Um, okay, some stuff, but I think I'll leave it alone. It was a little too damaged to consider at this point. <sighs> Gonna have to do something about that bite wound. I've got pocket knife, so I could cauterize it.
Wounds to legs. Painful bite. Dang it. Should I try to cauterize it again? I might. After this fight. There's another thing I can. Oh, a leather belt. I'll grab that. Peanut bar candies. No, thank you. There we go. It's damaged, but it's a belt nonetheless. Um, try the pocket knife. Try to cauterize. No. Inventory. E. Activate. Three. Cauterize the torso. Okay, recovering from infection. I cleaned the wound. That's good. I guess. Okay, we've got some aggro on us. There we go. It's like the very first attack. What do they do? Hmm, that's odd. I shouldn't have gotten that. Oh, I'm probably slower because of the wound. Or recovering from the wound, anyway. Okay, sure. What are you like? It doesn't seem too bad. Shorts. Shorts. They're shorts. I said shirt. No, no. Okay, I'm vaguely hurt. So that could be annoying. Um, I managed to get two hits off. I wonder if I'm back up. Oh, nope. Zombie bites your torso. I got two hits there. That's kind of odd. Dang it. Is the bite wound chance higher? Because that's the second one. And I haven't... I generally don't get that many this early on. Bite wound left arm, recovering from infection in another. Goodness gracious, this character isn't going to live long. doesn't seem to be showing quite what it was. I'm hitting it, it doesn't seem to be doing the animation correctly. Oh wait, no, there it worked. Was it just I was hitting the one? Hmm, could be. And they seem more uh, apt to destroy bushes, small bushes anyway. Uh, what do you got here? Pocket knife. I already have a pocket knife. I'll grab the chocolate bar and eat it. And uh, take some clean water. No. Okay. Activate pocket knife to cauterize. Exact same wound, apparently. E3. No, no. It's a different wound. E3. There we go. Let's head back down here and see which stragglers are around. What? My stats are all messed up. I need to come here and... And there's a first aid kit. Dang it! I'll save on it. The fight doesn't matter. I'm in pain, so much pain. Um, hmm, I really wanted to make it to the house. All right, one of these annoying dudes. 
Oh, hey, that's actually pretty cool. No, I won't. Yes, I will, apparently. That is one benefit of the acid pile. And most things die when they step in it eventually. Do we have any more bite wounds? No. Apparently none of that actually caused a wound from bites. Uh, tough zombie. I'm just gonna retreat at this point. Uh, I'm tempted to head up there and I really want to make it to town, but apparently I'm not going to, so I'm going to instead go up to that place. You know, I'm going to use the first aid on the torso, so at least I have two bars. Really? Oh, that's cute. At least I managed to kill it. There we go. Eh, yeah, discard CBMs. Dang it. Grab that cash card. I'm hungry. Oop. Uh, luckily, of all the places to be hungry, it's relatively easy to get something to eat in the forest. Uh, do I get any more wounds? No, I don't. Okay. That dog can just go and leave me alone. I'm in pain. Goodness gracious, I am in so much trouble right now. Hopefully there's nothing too egregious over here. Tracking me. I'm not good that'll do it. Another first aid kit set. Steel toed boots. Um, what am I wearing? S torn sneakers? Yeah, I'll throw on a pair of steel toed boots. Thank goodness I missed. I don't think I'd be alive if I hadn't. Dang it. Hoping I'd uh, lose it in the fog. Or the uh, line of sight blocking. Just so I can keep safe mode on. Because I definitely don't want to end up in a situation like when I first entered the forest. Not have it register in my mind. That would be really bad for me. <laughs> Just gonna point out that would be the death. I'll grab another blueberry while we're along here. Um, how close are we to being out? Uh, actually, pretty close. We just need to head this way. There we go. I knew I'd need those blueberries. Hello, please have something I want. Technically, yes. They do. Oh, antibiotics. I don't know what these do. <laughs> Let's see. Jet injector, small pistol shaped device, advanced self healing chemicals through the skin without needle. Um. Chemical rush. Well, I haven't used more than two in an hour, so hopefully I'll be fine.
And, ooh, nice. Why, well, yes, I would like to go and suit myself up. Hmm. I'm gonna drop the boxer shorts. That was a bit of a windfall for me. Actually, what's the last thing there? Oh, an empty vest. You've got some stuff here. That's interesting. Yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. Hopefully with uh, this new selection of clothing, things will go bad. Mmm, excuse me. Things will go better. I think I'm able to actually pick up all the food I've found. Well, not all of it, presumably. But some of it. Huh. I think I'd rather have the bottle of clean water. Time is man's fast healing that client by. Okay, so that's more of the stuff. And I'll drop one of the. Uh... No, no. That was a bit of an interruption. Hopefully I remember to take it out. Um, what can we drop? We can drop that. Sure, why not? Tori, B, Reload. That should be fine, right? Um, hmm, there's still stuff here. Should I mark it on the map? Yeah. Crates. It's like I would like to hit the town and see if I could do something, but I'm still kind of hurt. Um, what can we drop here? Apparently our matchbook's empty. That's weird. These stacks, and we'll keep those. Um, yeah, I'll keep that on me. We'll grab a... And we're gonna drop it over here as well. Yeah, safe mode's on. Good. actually approach the thing without any hassle from that direction. That's kind of interesting. There we go. Cargo shorts. I don't need cargo shorts, do I? Um, and they're shredded up, so I'm not going to bother with those. Put on a wristwatch. Might as well know what time it is. I actually got a really nice helmet at the moment. I don't need the helmet. Wait a sec, alpha male Coralie. Um I thought that was the one that gave you survive oh no, I don't have survival on. Oh, you need to read it to see it. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I don't like that. It's uh it's an interesting concept, but it just makes it harder to actually 
Oh, hello. Um, apparently I was, uh, suffering from radiation and it decided to up my night vision. Though, that's actually pretty good because it means that I was able to finish reading said book. Activate one of the... I can't read. Tori T. Dissemble. Yes. Then we can activate the heat pack to warm up the vegetarian course. And we can drop the used heat pack. Sewing kit? Sure, I'll grab that. I'll always use a sewing kit. Um, let's see. High night vision. Sure. Since it's night, that's actually a pretty good situation for me because I'll be able to go around and be like, close the windows without zombies seeing me necessarily. means I might be relatively secure in this house. Maybe. I'm not going to uh, say anything specific on that because it's always possible I won't be. Oh, that was a bit much. We'll drop the stout. Boxing monthly. Sure, I'll grab that. And the beer can. Downstairs, but I don't really want to take it. And we can drop the alpha male, because we've finished reading it. Yeah, I'll read that. Unarmed combat all the way. Why not? Huh. Yes, I'll stop reading. Cargo pants I will pick up, even though they're tar tattered. Oh. Well, that wasn't quite what I was hoping for, but life goes on. Anyway, there we go. And um, we've got too many pants on? Yeah, we've got too many pants on. Um, oh, it's because of that. Um, I think I'll stick with too many pants. Huh. That's interesting pattern for solid rock. Oh, I'm tipsy. That's cool. Yes, I definitely like the fact that it's showing me what's happening a lot better. The visualization... I'm not sure about the visualization necessarily for the combat, but for the rest of it, where it's just like, hey, you're tipsy, and stuff like that. Having it fly off your character definitely works. No. I'll just drop the uh, powders and stuff. I'm not at the point where I could even use them. So I don't even know why I bothered. <clears throat> so I don't even know why I bothered picking them up in the first place. There we go. Oop. Yeah, he hit my torso. Shredded military rucka sack, really? Obviously, I can't actually do that because that's way too much encumbrance, but it's the thought that counts, right? Currently, the thought that counts is the fact that I can't do anything with this house now. I need to retreat. I was going to sleep here, but he broke the damn window. 
Um, I guess I could still sleep here, but it probably end up causing me problems. Oop. See? I thought so. It caused me problems. And I'll have to use one of my first aid kits on that torso wound. There we go. Not even recovering from bad effects. That's good. Let's see if there's any active zombies around this house that... At least I won't have to uh, break the thing. Ah, dang it, this is one of those open houses. Or not. Oh, yep. Yeah. A little bit open for my taste. Oh, cool, you can actually close the windows. Not that I'll do much good in this room. Okay, here's the bedroom. Um. Oh, huh. Oh, that's cool. A little annoying. Hmm. Oldest and longest produced shoulder firearm in the world. Though it fires the weak 22, it is highly accurate and damaging. Has essentially no recoil. Yeah, that's a minus 5. It has uh, one recoil because of the ammunition. Uh, presumably there's probably some kind of uh, uh, low power stuff that I could use to make it even better. No, um, I'm going to have to drop stuff to carry it with me though. Um, am I hungry? Sort of. Uh, drop the chewy candy. Yeah. Made me thirsty, so I'll drink root beer. And we can drop the loom cans. No. Uh, how much encumbrance is it? Um, volume 10. Ooh, that's a... That's a bit. I don't know if I'll be able to actually reduce myself that much. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to trade out for that, and then we'll sleep and see what it's like in the morning. Okay, the light woke me up. That's nice. Can drop that stuff, and uh, I've got a few water bottles, don't I? Yeah, I can drop that easily. Um, <sighs> drop that water bottle. Still not quite enough. It's enough that I could... How much space is that taking up? It's only volume 6. Why is it like that? Oh, I wielded the wrong thing. No. Okay, so it's just counting the fact that it's just a little too little room. Um, that doesn't take up any room at all. Uh, let's read the boxing monthly. Okay, there we go. And we can drop the book, which should be only one? <sighs> okay, there we go. That should remove enough that...
Hmm. There we go. Apparently I'm going to use a gun. Though that's mostly just because apparently someone figured out that you should probably put the ammo and the gun together. Just saying. B. Yes. I'm sure if I'll actually end up reloading, but I might as well grab the stuff since I'm here. But yeah, we did pretty good. I want to get to that apartment building or whatever it is, because that might have the uh, multi-Z level thing going on. There we go. You dropped a hammer. Yeah, I've already got a hammer. I don't think I have a hammer on me, but I don't have the room to have a hammer on me at this point. I am at the limits of my capabilities. You remember to oh, reload. thought though uh, I don't have that much ammo so this won't last for too long necessarily This uh, gun isn't that loud. Um, I'll grab the syringe for now, but I'll drop it if I need to. Really? Huh. I forgot to reload. cases. Um, that's what I need. Science. Throw it in there. I won't be able to use it for a while, but it's a thing nonetheless. And over here, we'll want to grab that, that, and that's about it. The book I'll actually be able to read, so that's nice. Okay, there's no water in that, apparently. That's annoying. Oh, hello. I think I'm going to de- Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so cute. Survived. Zero days. Kills 22. Wow, I like that. That's amazing. I'm glad they finally got around to something like that. I definitely approve of it. And we actually got a pretty good list of things that we kill here. Kind of all over the board. So yeah, that was quite a thing. This is Zachary Drenner, and I'm signing off.